Hi there, hope you're well. My name is Malcolm, I'm one of the SEO specialists at ProLemon. In this video, I'll be discussing with you and walking you through how you can create a schema markup with zero code for your website using Google Structured Data Help Markup Helper. Okay, so first question that you might have is, what is a schema markup? So in layman's term, schema markup is a type of code that you can add to your website's content to provide search engines such as Google, Bing, with structured information about that content. It helps the search engines understand the context of your website page better, which can improve how your content is displayed in search results. So practically, it's an effort to help with your search engine ranking. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to head on to this website right here. I will leave this link down in the description for your reference. And this is the screen that you should be, you should be able to see. And right there, you have a couple of options here. As you can see, we can create schema markups for these such as articles, blog articles, and so on, book reviews, data sets, events. But we want to focus a lot on local business as we want to make a local business schema markup. All right. So the next thing that you do is you want to add your URL there. In this example, we will be using Microsoft.com. Okay, so once you've arrived to this page and you've selected local businesses, you want to click on start tagging. So usually this takes a minute or so to start um, up. So in the meantime, we'll, okay, there it is. We'll discuss how this can be done. So this is a way you can do it without coding at all. We'll just be simply tagging things that is currently on the website. Okay, so just let's leave that do its thing there for a minute. All right. Should be warmed up to us soon. Yeah. So that you know, this is taking a little bit more time, mainly because uh, Microsoft.com is a big website, not compared to uh, a smaller website, it will take less time. So what you see here is practically the website fully um, onto your right here. This is the same website that if you were to go on Microsoft, Dot com, you will see it will pop up there. So, if you're tagging for your business, what you would want to do is you would want to um, also uh, add your URL, as we mentioned, there instead of Microsoft.com. Um, okay, great stuff. So, this is the same URL. So, these are the tags that we're going to be adding. So there's two ways to go about this. You can um, literally just click to tag, like for example, an image, we can just click and say, this is the logo. So it will be added right here to the schema markup. It's gonna be uploaded. Um, it's just gonna get the URL for that specific image. And then there's another way um, that is a little bit tedious, but thorough as well. So you wanna go scroll down in the left bar and click on add missing text and then what i usually do is i usually start from the top like for example i start by writing the name so in this instance i want to write microsoft .com. so that is the company name and then from then you add another then I start from, as I mentioned, so I won't need to add another image since I already tagged it there. So you want to add the telephone. So in this example, we can just say plus one, 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 one. So here is where you want to add your phone number <clears throat> to help with uh, search engines to see that, as well as finish, practically finish up this. So 
uh, my name is Malcolm, so I'll be adding my, at my, Malcolm at Microsoft.com and so on. So this is where you tag, tag, you add your address. Um, this is where it gets uh, a little bit complex. Um, like for example, you want to add your street address. You want to make sure that here you write the, the, the address so it can be even the number five micro road that just for an example and then you want to tag another one under address you want to say local city then you write the city um let's just use um Dublin. this is just for for reference it's not a literal example microsoft is not in in dublin in ireland but this is just for for your so you just add the state uh, at city day that we want to be adding Dublin here and so on as it close below so you want to make sure that you fully complete this list and right when you're done you want to click on save so when you click on save you see some of the changes pop right here make sure that everything is filled here and then once you're happy you have now have your um, schema markup once this is complete you want to click on create html so i'm just going to click that and as you see here all the data that i have inputted um shows here so what right after you you can copy and paste and take it or you can just download the file right here here you can also choose the specific code that you you like and right after you can copy, take this little snippet of code and add it to your head of your uh, web page. Mainly the specific web page that you want to target. Like for example, your home page, your local coffee shop, and so on. So this was just a quick example on how you can add a schema markup for your website. Um, for any more SEO ideas and tips, please subscribe and feel free to visit our website, perlemon.com. For more videos, once again, subscribe.